I have been doing self-portraits for so long time now, over 20 years. I got all the time these questions like, why do you want to show yourself? Like, are you so narcissistic or what is it about? In a way, I don't see myself as me in the picture. I talk about the person in the picture or the, the human figure or the model. When I was young, I did a picture that has become one of my like, iconic pictures. It's called I Hate Sex. And I was like 25 years or something. So it's a big statement, of course. I was in an elevator and there was one professor from my school. And then he, he asked me like, is it true? Do you really hate sex? Then I, I developed this way of answering this kind of unpleasant, too intimate questions by saying like, what do you imagine? It's not me, it's a photograph. And this is something that in a way still holds true. Even though it's me, it's not exactly me. It is a picture. It tells something about me, but it also tells something about you. In 2009, 2010, I started to do autobiographical work again. So I went to the same rooms, the same landscapes, re-photographing them, looking into what has happened in my life. To, to take a picture from, say, 1998 and a picture from 2015 and look at them together and see like, wow, this is a time machine. Photography is a time machine. I have plenty of pictures that I consider more like um, to belong to the tradition of visual arts, like the painting as we know it since the Renaissance times, um, kind of creating a tableau. When working, it's actually the eye that decides what makes a good picture, it's not the mind. There are some reoccurring themes in my work. For instance, mirrors or reflections is something that always fascinates me. I'm interested in what it is to be a human being, like those things that belong to a human life, the human condition. And um, honesty is maybe, it's a big word, but let's say that that's something I try to, to strive for in my pictures.